Okay, this is the Asus A15 Ryzen 9 4900H processor and NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti graphic card variant. This variant is available in this video. In this video, this laptop is going to talk about the performance. Ryzen 9 4900H processor is going to compare with i7 10th generation. I will talk about the performance of the performance. CPU benchmarks, CPU में तो heavy pressure होना पड़ो, temperature अंतवर को reach है इन्दी, अलाने games आर्थ होना पड़ो, GPU का temperature अंतवर को reach है इन्दा नेत कोड़ा ये video लो चिपता ना, first specifications कुछ smart लड़ गुन्टे, the Ryzen 9 4900H processor and NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti graphic card and display कुछ smart लड़ गुन्टे, ये 144H Full HD IPS level panel and SSD expansion को सम 1 MT slot कोड़ा होंगे, and RAM ये तो 16GB DDR4 dual channel RAM this laptop is running on the Windows 10 home operating system and the battery capacity is 48W battery and finally the price is 1 lakh rupees First, we will talk about the build quality This laptop is built on the interior and exterior It is built on the plastic The plastic quality is very good It is not the cheap quality And this laptop is a little bulky It is slim and slim It is slim and slim and there is a military grade certification You can use accidental golden light You can use extreme vibrations You can use this laptop Next, you can use the keyboard You can use a gaming laptop You can use the four keys A, W, S, T You can use the separate color coding You can use the transparent color You can use the complete personal preference You can use the RGB lighting system RGB colors continues to change out and lack of the static one color and assign it to the complete one and off it to the off This is the IPS level panel so that the backlight bleeding issue is compulsory so that the laptop has a lot of backlight bleeding and a lot of minor issues If you check the dark scenes, you don't notice the backlight bleeding and you don't notice the backlight bleeding So if you check the dark scenes in the laptop, you don't notice the backlight bleeding issue in the display details, it is a full HD 144H display This display has a disadvantage This is a sRGB percent of 66% 66% of sRGB coverage is video graphics and photo graphics are suitable for normal consumers and gamers This display is normal Now we have an important category We will see the real-time scenarios and examples If you have a CPU with a heavy load, the temperature is reached If you have a game, the GPU is reached now let's look at the CPU and the pressure pit will decrease in the first 5 minutes to 3800 MHz and then in the next 10 minutes to 3600 MHz and then in the next 3400 MHz and then in the next 3600 MHz and then in the next 3400 MHz Actually, the CPU is going to decrease in 10 minutes to 3000 MHz and then in the next 10 minutes to 3000 MHz and then in the next 10 minutes to 3000 MHz 95 degrees वर्क को रिचे हैं इन्दी। CPU performance तगुतो नो कोल्डी temperature कोड़ा तगुतो होच्छ इन्दी। अलाने CPU core पर कोड़ा starting 10 minutes अंता 45 watts maintain जिस्तो बोल इन्दी। 10 minutes तरवाता 35 वर्क को decrease आई पेंदी। अलाने 30 minutes gameplay लो GPU को clock speed maximum 1800 to 1500 मेगाहिट मध्य लाने maintain जिस्तो बोल इन्दी। and maximum GPU का temperature 86 degrees. If you want to test the CPU benchmark, you can compare the Ryzen 9 4900H processor with i7 10th generation to compare the 4% single core and 60% multi core to higher performance If you want to compare the Blender benchmark, the Ryzen 9 4900H processor with i7 10th generation to compare the BMW to 62% and the classroom to 90% In the Fortnite game, the Epic settings 87 average FPS and 59 1% Next rock company low ultra settings low 125 average FPS and 55 1% low And GTA 5 VSync on just a 143 average FPS and 122 1% low And VSync off just a average FPS 150 and 1% low 132 And last shadow of the Tomb Raider game at a 
average fps 76 frames per second and 1 percent low 62 okay idi asus a15 ryzen 9 capabilities and inga chaala details unnai nenu chaala test chesanu kaakapothe throat pain valla nenu avanni sariga explain cheyalekapothunanu but i7 10th generation tho compare chesthe ryzen 9 processor anedi chaala vishayalo advantages e unnai suppose 15 gb 4k finally kevalam 12 minutes lone encode ayindi adhe 4k 15 gb file ni kevalam 10 minutes lone render chesindi and 1 gb ts file ni mp4 lo ki 2 minutes lo conversion ayindi kachithanga ee hardware configurations unna asus a15 laptop aithe kachithanga consider cheyachu ide na first video ela mee munduku vachi explain cheyadam and future videos lo kachithanga improvement untadi సపోర్ట్ చేయాలని అనుకుంటే సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోండి నేను వీడియో కనుక నచ్చితే లైక్ చేయండి థ్యాంక్ యూ